It says we're live. Let us know in case it joins. Yep. Yeah, I think the frame is okay. Not yet. Got one person? What's up? We're going to wait on a few people to roll in and get started. All right. Um, so we're going to go live right now before Whiskey Discs. Tune into that after this. Uh, we got a few fun things in store. These are not leaving today's. Maybe. We're just showing you. Uh, just a little taste. Maybe eventually they'll find new homes, but we love Simon. Our Simon collection. Pretty pristine. That's that's what we want. That's they're not they're not going anywhere. We have more. Um, so we got some more unboxing. We got all the packages that came today. There's some pretty cool ones you're gonna want to see, and then we're gonna give you the opportunity. To buy some Ghost Shatter Stamp Stock D3s at a great price. And maybe some other stuff. We're just going to see how it goes and move from there. Yeah. These are uh, dry flight stacks. Who, who likes Ghost Shatter, first of all? Probably everybody. These are dry flight golf sacks. They're based out of Tupelo, Mississippi. They're one of my sponsors. Hit them up. Best uh, like rosin bag in the game. Mm. A little taste of them. We'll be giving away one of these tonight. Winner will get to pick whatever they want um, out of all of them. They get to pick one, whichever design. They're pretty cool, made with real chalk. Turn your sweaty rounds into great rounds, or turn your rainy rounds into not as much rainy rounds. I have had rounds where I have literally only shot good because of this. So, we're going to give one of those away later, too. Um, you know, we took some feedback and criticism. We're, we're still on vacation. We're doing what we can, but we've got a table. You know, we're on our way to legitimacy. We've got some production equipment, just not with us. So bear with us. It'll get better there. Uh, so we're just going to start opening stuff again. We got a few people asking where in Mississippi we're from. So I'm from Jacksonville, Florida originally. I have grown up in Madison, Mississippi, which is outside of Jackson my whole life. Now I live in Oxford, Mississippi, where the University of Mississippi is, also known as Ole Miss. That's what my hat is. It's the Ole Miss Ultimate Team, Hydra. And it stands for Hell Yeah, Damn Right. That's our school cheer. And then there's just an A on the end to make an actual word so we can cheer and, yeah, you know, you get the idea. Yeah, I'm from uh, Atlanta, Georgia. I grew up there. I lived there till I was like 19 or 20. Moved to Oxford, went to school. That's kind of where Mark and I met. We both got into disc golf. Kind of met through a mutual friend, David Tressel. Sh Shout out in Montana. Um, but yeah, we both live in Oxford now. He's kind of back and forth from Jackson, and I pretty much permanently in Oxford. And yeah, we just hit the road every weekend, play tournaments. Yeah. Uh, we're going to Persimmon Ridge in Arkansas next weekend, so if anybody's going there, hit us up. Luke Humphreys Tournament. It's if like, you're not, why don't you meet us there? Yeah. It's like um, one of my favorite courses around. Persimmon Ridge is sick. All right, so Christian, he's going to stick with the hammer. We've got some people sending us box cutters. Maybe a guy sending us some machete. If he's not, if someone we, send us a machete. If we get a machete... It can be will, a dollar machete, but we really need a machete. If we get a machete, we will not open anything from here on out without the machete. Alright, so until we get the machete, I had to upgrade from my hands and a nail. Uh, we've got the K-Bar. If it's good enough to cut through enemy soldiers, it's good enough to open boxes. So, we got the K-Bar now. Yeah. It can open, it can open people's bodies. It can open. <laughs> so, so first up, we we got Mike Craig. Again, a, a few of these I know what they are. I know the things that I like. It's just leftover from the madness, man, dude. I still suck at opening Chill, boxes. Man. Do not kill me. Stephen Heath says machete on the way. Spencer commented and said Christian and Mark do not need a machete. Alright, so I got this Sea Lion FD. It 
has Mike's ink on it. I love his ink on it, actually. I thought it looked pretty cool. Um, looks like his own little tour series with this, and now it's mine. So, there's that. We've got... Oh, wow. He, um... He threw in this instinct. Oh, those are cool. I gotta take I've actually never seen this, but it's a silver cup instinct. Thank you so much, Mike. And the clash at the canyons three. I'll have to send Mike something. That's cool. Um, yeah, it's also an instinct. These are sweet. Thank you, Mike. Maybe we'll give them away on the show. We'll give one away. I'll keep one for the collection. Maybe it'll also find its way to you eventually. I don't know. But thank you so much, Mike. Sometimes people throw in things that you don't ask for, and that's just super cool. It's so. like a disbanded community thing. Exactly. So this keep on paying it forward. People pay it forward to you. This one is from Alex Hart. Alex Hart. Do not hit him up for, for these things. It was hard to get him some money around. You know he has them. Don't take them. So first up is the Glow CD2, and he gave me choice between the factory sampling and this one, and I was like, send me whichever one you don't want. And he was like, I kind of like the factory stamp. And I was like, well, I'll take the other one. A saber tooth Glow CD2, going straight in the bag. I'm going to throw it at the tournament tomorrow. Don't even know what it does. Don't care. Looks so cool. Somebody said, bro, I do not want to watch someone get stabbed live. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We got some more claws, baby. Uh, <laughs> Add it to the hall of claws. The, the wall of claws, whatever. And the glow FD3. Um, this is my first one. Also going straight in the bag. Thank you so much, Alex. Yeah, it's one of my favorite tips. Alex Hart is the man. You want me to open that and you open the next one? Uh, yeah. So, that one's from For the Nations Disc Golf. I don't know who owns it or runs it. I'll look it up and let you know later. But if you know, throw it in the comments. I don't know what it is because I don't know who it is. So, we'll see. And we'll, we'll, we'll tell you about the mystery boxes at the end, but they're coming. You don't know who it is? I mean, I know what it is, but I don't know who it's from. Well, it is a wiped RT2. Alright, we got the wiped RT2. I actually do know who this is from now, and I will post... I'm going to go back and remember who it was. I don't forget who you guys are. So many people message me to buy my collection. Please don't because I need to be able to talk to my customers and the people I'm trading with. Super hard to keep up. So from this day forward, if you want to get to the collection, don't ask me to get to the collection. And you will eventually get to the collection. Gotta start with the stock stuff. Gotta start with the stock stuff. But they're ghost shatters today. Yep. We got one more? Yep. Alright, the last one. I should have let Christian have a better Christmas in February. Uh, but this one is from Shane Gerhardt in Colorado. I made the biggest trade I've ever made with him. Neither of us knows who won the trade. I don't really think either of us cares. I hope he loves his discs. I'm certainly going to love these, and I 100% know what's in this box. Because I traded 10 Sexton Firebirds, I believe it was four 17s, a few 18s, a couple 19s, a 20. It was a pretty big trade, it was super fun. Glad my Firebirds found a new home for a great Nate Sexton fan. Um, yeah, I mean, my knife safety could improve, but I'm cutting away from me, which is just a simple principle. Mm -hmm. I could do a lot of things better, but we're doing some things right. And you got more than that. Yeah, so he's really taped up this box. Again, 
great shipping feedback for all of these people. It's hard to ship things wrong. Just do your job, and, and you won't get any complaints. I haven't had a single bad package. Great community. Keep it up. Let me know if my shipping sucks, and I will improve. All right, so first up, we've got a Color Glow FD3 from the OG run. I lost my last one in Mobile last summer. City of Mobile. I, then I got it back and lost it again. I don't know where it is anymore. Straight in the bag. An Iron Samurai. The Silver Stars foil. Very pretty. We've got a thrower. Claw MD3. Going straight on the wall with claws. <laughs> uh, Alright, Christian. <laughs> what else we got? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, a Roaming Thunder 1. A Roaming Thunder 1. Those are and beautiful. I already know who this is going to. Ben Either Benson. Benson or Pedro Tato. <laughs> I, I don't know which one of those people Benson is, is taking it from me, but I'm sure it's going to leave. Benson There's said, no way I get to keep that. Benson uh, said, hey, let me get those Roman Thunders. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, Benson. Man. We'll talk. We'll oh, talk, man. Benson. I think this one's brand new. Yeah. So, like, we got a brand new one. Pink with like a purpley lavender sand. That's beautiful. Like, you know, we're not going to buy things out from under you very often. But, but if we three. see a claws, we're sure going to try. I think I have like 35 claws. Don't hit us up for these. these are, this is the wall of claws for a reason. I, I'm not sure why a minion's up there. <laughs> worked his way up there. So. All right. So we got another Glow Epi 3. So here's my second one ever. It's my backup. And a backup to my backup. A light first run. A poor man's pro cloud breaker. Still not a poor man's disc. This is also probably going to go straight in the bag. That's going to make its way into the bag one day too. This will, when I lose my pink one that Steven gave me, straight in the bag. Until then, it's a backup. So that, that was the trade with Shane. Thank you so much, Shane. Let me know if you liked your discs. That was the biggest trade I've ever made. Don't care who won it. Hope it was him, but I got everything I needed to where I'm not going to have to buy discs anymore for a long time. So yeah. these are all the backups to all the things that I can't find and backups to things that I couldn't find before. And now I have both. So... That's how hard it is to get some of these. I've been playing a while, and some of them that I passed on during the release or that came out before I was playing, I, I still can't get. And so I'm, I'm always looking for another Glow CD too. If you have one, try to make a trade. Hit a boy up. So we are going to first give away the dry flight sack. What you got for us, Christian? Uh, let's go with just whoever in the comments picks first my favorite course on tour. Favorite course on the PDGA Pro Tour. Go. We'll mail you a dry flight sack of your choosing. We got plenty of them. It might take a minute. We, can move on. we can't see the comments. There's a, a lag for us, so we'll go through and figure out who won soon. If someone can see it, post it in There's here. There's Idlewild, Maple Hill. If I see it while I'm looking, I'll let you guys know. We can move on to Shatter Stamps. For sure. All right, so Shatter Stamps. We've got five Ghost Shatter Stamps, six Ghost Shatter Stamps. They are all 173 to 175. They usually weigh heavier, if anything, but these kind of have like a little blizzardy rim and a few sparkles in them, like you would see with Metal Flake. Yeah. Um, 
Not really sure. Maybe there was some metal flake stuff left over this in the new, uh, four, but this new super run, cool. This new run that came out, we were looking at it earlier, and I noticed they kind of have a blizzardy rim, which I haven't seen in DD3s yet. So these are probably bombers, especially for, like, slower arm speed. So DD3, new run's got blizzard. Show them the rim. profile. A little bit dummy. All right, hot, so... Hot. We are selling these. Don't comment then yet. We'll tell you when. We are selling these for $24 shipped. Whoever comments, Ben first. Get some order picking. So we can't see anything. We'll lower the price if no one's bending them, but if people are bending them, we will contact you after the show. I will say that looking at the comments... We've got at least two bins so far that we can see. Yeah. There's, Chad? there's Chad. Hey, we get to save Shout a little bit Chad. on shipping. Yeah, see him My boy Mark Ogle. There we go. Um, Alright, so we see the comments. We'll help as many people as we can. But the first six, we don't have any more Ghost Shatter. What you see is what we have. It's all you. Yeah. I will um, say I'm looking, and uh, based off of people guessing my favorite course on tour, nobody's got it yet. Think a little more locationally close to us in Mississippi. And it might not be on the Pro Tour again this year. Maybe it is, but it has been in the past. So, these will find new homes after the show. We'll reach out to you. Uh, so. Mystery boxes? Mystery boxes. So, we're going to post the mystery boxes tomorrow. Probably Sunday, actually. Oh. Sorry for the wait. We're helping run the C-tier in Mississippi. Groundhog Grappler, if you're nearby, come check us out. Yeah. We'll be selling discs all day tomorrow. We're both playing in a tournament. And, Hopefully yeah, we'll it'll be super win. fun. So, we'll be up at, like, 5 a.m. and be doing stuff till after dark, so... We'll post these on Sunday, long before the Super Bowl, so you don't have to have anything to worry about there. Comment, give us some suggestions on price points you'd prefer to see. We've got some things put together, but we're not sure if you want, you know, bigger mystery box, smaller throwers, new stuff, what price point. But uh, we'll definitely hook you up at whatever price point they are. Yeah. The way you're going to be able to buy them is when I post a picture of the mystery boxes in the group, there will be no bin price on the post. The cost to bin it is to send me proof that you have sent a disc to a friend. So send me a tracking number. It's all on your honor. I won't be able to know if the disc has actually gone out yet, but... You're going to be able to buy a mystery box that's awesome for a pretty awesome price if you send a disc to somebody that's awesome. Don't tell them. It's going to be a surprise. It's part of the pay it forward mentality. Um, so just download Pirate Ship or Stamps.com, whatever you want to use. Anything you can get a tracking number quickly. If you need help learning how to do all that, reach out to us. Not tonight. Or you can tonight, we won't get back to you tonight, but um, we'll try to help you get set up there. And we're going to do a tutorial soon on how to buy and sell things online. Just simple tips, tips and tricks to save you money, time, and avoid bad feedback on the pages. I haven't gotten any yet, but it's bound to happen. I'll do my best to correct it when it does. Um, so... Yeah, that's all for mystery boxes. We'll let you know about those on Sunday. Uh, Y'all want to see a few cool discs? We're waiting to, to know your reply. The lag thing still is. Maybe give us a... I'm assuming you probably want to see some cool discs. So, yeah. will you grab my bag, Joe? It's behind you. We're going to lose our camera for a sec. We'll just do a quick in the bag. Quick in the bag. Oh. Quick in the bag. Alright, so.
So, we'll do it in the bag. No, I am going to show you my wizard. So, <laughs> I throw all disc mania, except my putter slots, which I don't throw any disc mania, because they're too hard to replace. They're super expensive. I love wizards. So, I've got my own custom stamp, Swirly Wizards. They're awesome. Not going to get into them too much. It's a DM shit. And I've got three zones. I've got my clear, not so swirly, Earhart zone. It's rosy pink. Pretty nasty. And I've got my X Soft and my Page Pierce plastic ledge stone zone. Uh, they all do different things. I throw a zone whenever I can. And I putt with wizards. So my mid ranges, I actually throw the signed Eagle MD3 up there. My friend Hunter Leathers won it from him in a putting competition at a tournament called Memphis Barbecue, where he beat Simon and Eagle. And Simon gave him the pre Doombird Lazat FD3, and I have the signed MD3 that he gave me when I started playing uh, a few years ago. So. Then I've got my Crown Eagle. I've got my uh, Eagle Stamps Glow MD4. I've got my Eagle McMahon Glow MD5. It's actually from his bag. Uh, we found it in a pond in Mississippi. I don't think he'd ever played there. We tagged him a bunch of times, shot him some messages. We don't think he wants it back, but if you do, Eagle, hit me up. If you've been missing it, I'll get it back to you. D-Line FD. Uh, just kind of a utility disc. And then I've got three other FDs. The Night Strike. I've been working with it today. I love it already. Got it last night. And then I've got a Wipe Stamp Air Force... Swirly FD, and then my second run FD, it's a Simon triple stamp. I, if it's not one of a kind, send me a picture of yours, because I want to know where the twin is. <laughs> um, it's sick, it's my favorite disc, it'll never leave me, it means so much to me. It's sick, I love Simon. Shout out to him, he inspires me to play, he brings joy and happiness to everyone who watches him. Everywhere he goes, you just can't dislike Simon. So, Simon's my favorite. He always will be. Even if I can ever beat him, which won't happen, I hope he beats me. Here's my Royal Rage. And I'm working with the Sea Line. Uh, trying to see if I like it a lot, but I think I do. And then I've got my Essence. I'm learning how to throw CD3s. I like the understability for me. It's it's faster than my CD2. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I'm liking it. And I've got my Doombird 2. I've got my Cloudbreaker 1. If the third run, it doesn't go anywhere. It's my water disc. It always fades. It doesn't get me anywhere else. An RT2, not as pretty as it could be because I lose discs a lot. But there's no ugly RT2s. Let's be real, Vincent. Color Glow DD3. It was new yesterday, not new anymore. <laughs> Discs are meant to fly. Agreed. We got a Swirly Cloudbreaker 2. It's can't really tell it's swirly, but I like it. I love lavender, this like electric, silvery, purple looking thing. I don't know what it's called, but sell me some of those. Uh, just my stock stamp BB3, you know, it's my workhorse. The white one. They're replaceable, so I throw it when I can. The other ones go a little bit further, except the Cloudbreaker. And then. This is someone's disc that I need to return to them at the tournament tomorrow. Somebody gave me. So that's not actually in the bag. Uh, and then I've got a little Winner's Wizard Mini. It's a stash mini if you've never seen them. You can put things inside of them. I don't, but some people do. 
Just two minis for me. Should I show my bag too? Yep, you can show him your bag. Christian's better anyway, so you'll want to know what he's throwing. Climb against humanity. We know we're a Disneyland fanboy production. I'm going to take that and just burn it. I mean, <laughs> a zone is a zone. You know, at the end of the day, we're going to throw what makes us beat other people, which is mostly Discmania, but yeah, I'm, every now and then there's there's a, a strayer. Yeah. Glow P3X. These are kind of hard to find, but they're sweet. Messing around with the origin. Super easy thrower, beginner friendly, just easy. Um, as far as MD3s, I bagged the two on the right up there, and then the pink Tuck Lab one. Yeah, see, Those we can't. My bag. We're, you know, we're not, you know, that well off. We gotta take our MD3s off the wall and put them in the bag. And put them in the bag, <laughs> and yeah. then when we get done, we gotta put them back on the wall. I mean, this is. It's, it's a hassle, and we need more well, claws. Claws are worth so much, but they're meant to be thrown. They're so good at throwing. Also bag a Iron Samurai 1. It's just like it doesn't beat in. It's so straight. Got the stability. It's money. Um, Primal Essence. Just took just, them up yesterday. Just got it. Messing around with it. We'll see if it sticks in the bag or not. Um, second run. FD. Kind of wiped, had an Air Force into a stamp, super sick. Haven't seen any with an Air Force stamp on it. We still got viewers. Huck mm -hmm. Lab, Three, Royal six. Rage, or not Royal, yeah, Royal Rage, Huck Lab, uh, Original Glow, Color Glow. Feel free to go if you need to. We'll finish out the end yeah. of the bag and let I'll you watch quick. Whiskey Discs. Glow FD3, Dark Mall 1, shout out to Avery Jenkins. Third run PD, I've bagged this for literally like four years. It is more like a CD2 than anything. But I like to break this in that are stable, work them into flippy. They just work better for me like that. Pro tip. Yep. Um, Cloud Breaker 1, this thing is money for hand disc. Cloud Breaker 1, third run, it is a brick. It goes left. Cloud Breaker 2, super swirly, super pretty. Enigma, underrated disc. Super good hyzer flip disc in the woods, gets good distance. I don't see anybody throw them. Try them out. They're sick. And then... Hit They're cheap one. too, and super easy to cheap. find. Super cheap. I can throw like... He throws that when I throw my Color Glow DD3. I just can't seem to make it work. I like it. Huck Lab, DD3, Hypno Huck. Thing sick. And then last but not least, PD2, Eagle McMahon, Gun Feast Day, I think. No, National Tour winner. So then, that's it. Triumph Series. Triumph Series. Just sick. So one thing you'll notice is I don't throw a lot of mids and putters, I and I have a ton of fairways. Um, I just like throwing faster things slower. I'm working toward mid ranges and putters. But if I'm throwing a putter, I'm throwing a zone. I don't really have a putter game. Throw an MD3 if I have to. And I'm kind of the opposite. Like, I don't throw a lot of fairways. I throw drivers if it's over 350. Not really necessarily 350. That's where I throw a fairway. But if I can throw a mid or a putter, I'm going to throw a mid or a putter. So, yeah. So, that's all we got for tonight. Stay tuned for the mystery boxes on Sunday. Uh, we'll be playing the tournament tomorrow. Maybe we'll go live after that. Tell you how it went. Uh, Joe, say hey. Uh, Joe is Joe's gonna try hey. to beat me tomorrow. I just saw my home course for the first time today. Uh, we'll see if I can't not crumble. So <laughs> double negatives. I know. Uh, 
Mississippi. We try. Yeah. So uh, Joe will try to beat me tomorrow. I'll let you know if he does. I hope so. I'll do my best. Yeah. Christian. Gonna try he's got to a win. battle, so we'll see if he yeah. if he wins it. Chad yeah. and John Blount are both out there on the crowd right now. You're going down tomorrow. Yeah, mm -hmm. already talking smack. You heard it here first. Thunder Schultz is playing tomorrow. Josh Luby, if you ever tune in, you're going down. Jock and Burns, also going down. These are my good friends, and if they beat me, it's going to be sweet. We're going to crap open a beer at the end of the day. This is a great time. So, uh, that's all we have for you tonight. So, once we get off, Andrew's putting his kids to bed. He will... Go live in a little bit. Go check out Whiskey Disc. Yeah. Awesome if you haven't seen it. In it. Our favorite show on Fake TV. We'll be on in the comment section. And we will go through and find the winner for the Dry Flight Sack and the Ghost Shatter DD3 is available for $24 to the people of Ben. This, I already saw it. I'll find who it was. Jonesboro. Jonesboro is the answer. That's our favorite course. It's two hours and ten minutes away. Yeah, it's probably just and played it. It's just the best thing we can drive through, uh, besides what's called Trace Gold at Trace State Park yes. in Tupelo, Mississippi. And you should 100% check that course out if you mm -hmm. can. Uh, we're playing at the Reservoir in Jackson tomorrow. It's a great course, the Res, Peelahatchee Shore Park. Uh, we'll see you next time.